Hi, my name is Gabriel Dada. And I'm Amade Manuel. Our project topic, the title of our ADMC2 project is Cyberbullying and Hate Speech Detection on Social Media Using Machine Learning Techniques. Now to introduction. The ubiquitous and anonymous features of the internet has given rise to a number of ethical issues of which cyberbullying is widely acknowledged. R. Sheds Guinea et al. in their literature defines cyberbullying as any violent, intentional action conducted by individuals or groups using online channels repeatedly against a victim who does not have the potential to react. And the most common types of online harassment, according to um, Cyberbullying Research Center among US students, are mean comments, online rumors, and sexual remarks. Essentially, mean comments contribute the largest at 22.5%. Now, with 38% share of cyberbullying, social media is the most active platform for this vice, while 23% have seen them frequently operate on video sharing sites. Now, the research question for our project is presented thus. Can natural language processing algorithm using feature vector increase accuracy of tweets classification for detection and control of cyberbullying and hate speech on social media? The objectives of our project um, are as follows. First, we want to be able to build a model using machine learning for detecting and curbing the menace of cyberbullying on social media. We want to improve accuracy of cyberbullying text classification using feature vector and assess the accuracy of the model. We want to present a working cyberbullying detection platform where users can verify tweets and identify the presence or not of cyberbullying words. To report immediately for flagging. So the data set for this project will be sourced from Kegel. Yeah, this data set contains uh, social commentary uh, categorized as insults from comments of, of different users. After this data has been sourced, we process this da the data using Python. Uh, this is our code for pre-processing the data. For this we utilize the ETA tool, the OS to help uh, in computational time, and the NumPy array. So for this data, we have uh, this function, the cleaning function here. We remove the encodings, the white uh, space formatting, and other different uh, uh, preprocessing, utilizing uh, the regular expression. After the uh, cleaning process is done, we have our validation function here, which will validate the model, taking in uh, the model, the vectorizer, the feature, and the data frame. So for the balanced, uh, for the class balance, to inspect our class balance, so from uh, the normal manual statistics, we, we found out that the class was fairly imbalanced. So in order to account for the balanced data sets, we use the, the outputted uh, clean data here. We loaded the outputted clean data here, uh, taking extracting the true positives and the true negative, the true negatives, then resetting the index. This is a, uh, a form of shuffling the data sets, and then we, we outputted the data into a CSV. After this, uh, and we conducted a exploratory data analytics using R. So here, what we basically did was to uh, retrieve tweets, Twitter comments from users using the, the keyword bullying, and we retrieved, we retrieved about uh, 2,000 tweets from 2018, from 2018 to date. Uh, after that, we also performed the text processing functions, removing, also utilizing a regular expression removing special characters, digits, and non-alphabetic characters. So this was built using the, um, the corpus models, uh, vector sources, 
and the word cloud. So to build our word vector by using TFID, we made use of the Jensen's model, which is a keyed vector. And we have uh, the functions like the make feature vector, uh, the comment vectors. Here, it just gets, uh, uh, this function gets the file of the TFID model and transforms it. Here, we are loading in the vector, uh, the vector model, which the vector model file which we created and we are transforming this uh, file using the key vectors load function here after uh, loading this model to uh, this parameter we loaded the csv file to a data frame then the comments uh, from the users we are loaded into the x variable while the y variable took the uh, categorical uh, variable from our data labeled insults where it applies or not. The next is to load the TFID model. For here, we load uh, we loaded the TFID model using this function, which gets the using this function which gets the the TFID file here labeled as um, the TFID file, which is a dictionary with stop words. After this, uh, we transform the data using a maximum word of 3000 in order to show the performance uh, difference with bag of words. So <clears throat> the evaluation, to evaluate our model using the X and Y uh, with our TFID vector uh, with, that has uh, the stop words, we created this function here, initializing the different classifiers, the non-biased classifier, the random forest, the SVM, uh, including the XGBoost. These different uh, libraries were imported using the SKLearn for, uh, machine, for training machine learning algorithms. So to evaluate this model, we calculated the precision. To evaluate this model, we calculated the precision the, the recall, the AUC score, the, the runtime, the time which it took to evaluate the model, and all. For the use case, we have proposed a prototype, essentially a cyberbullying detector, which is a uh, user interface on the model and algorithm that, that we built. So with this, users can actually go there, uh, copy a certain comment on social media for detection, whether you know, it contains cyberbullying um, words or not. So an example would be from our interface. Um, so if we have like a statement like this, the user can click scan and it gets a feedback saying cyberbullying detected and then it can click on report, you know, um, to report uh, the case for cyberbullying. Thank you.